Are you constantly tired? Do you feel like you're getting old and that every day you're waking up with random aches and pains? You've tried everything to get through it. Green juices, magic elixirs, you name it. But nothing makes you feel better. And maybe you even feel worse. But have you tried boosting your stem cells? These tiny cells are thought to be a secret weapon against ageing and a powerful cure to debilitating diseases. Listen to what they're capable of. They can generate specialised cells like heart muscle cells or brain cells. They have the potential to repair tissue damaged by disease and they may even be able to help those with Alzheimer's, spinal cord injuries, cancer and more. In other words, these tiny cells may just be the secret to eternal health. But as you age, your stem cells' abilities deteriorate. Like a superhero's power waning, they lose their ability to help you heal. But what if there was a way to boost your stem cells' abilities and enjoy their healing benefits for the rest of your life? Lucky for you, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. I'm not a doctor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Number one, chocolate. I'm not talking about a Twix bar or a bowl of Hershey's Kisses. I'm talking about la creme de la creme of all chocolate, dark chocolate. In other words, chocolate that contains at least 70% cacao. Dark chocolate has been shown to have huge health benefits. Studies have found that it can lower your blood pressure, reduce your risk of heart disease, and even enhance your brain function. But one of its most impressive qualities comes to light when you look at its role in the health of your stem cells. Get this. A study at the University of California, San Francisco, found that dark chocolate can increase the number of stem cells in your bloodstream. In fact, they discovered that participants who consumed dark chocolate in the form of hot cocoa twice a day for 30 days had twice as many stem cells in their bloodstream as those who consumed a non-dark chocolate version. Why was this? World-renowned physician and president of the Angiogenesis Foundation, Dr. William Lee, explains it for us. <laughs> the darker the chocolate, the higher the flavanols. These are the bioactives that are naturally present. As Dr. Lee says, the ability of dark chocolate to boost stem cells is because it contains high levels of molecules called flavanols. Flavanols have amazing abilities. They've been shown to have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects, for instance, and may even have anti-cancer properties. So why is this important when it comes to stem cells? Well, the research suggests that these flavanols, which are found in high concentrations in dark chocolate, can play a key role in boosting your stem cells. Remember, though, in order to see benefits, you need to be consuming dark chocolate which is over 70% cacao. Milk chocolate just isn't going to cut it. Number two, life wave patches. What if you could just slap a patch onto your arm that immediately started activating your stem cells? Sounds like something out of a futuristic, high-tech sci-fi movie, right? Well, lucky for you, you don't have to hop in a time machine and travel to the future to do this, because it already exists. LifeWave patches are an innovative technology based on 20 years of development. These patches can activate stem cells by simply using light activation. Let me explain how it works. The patch uses light to activate a protein in your body called copper peptide, which research has shown can activate stem cells and provide numerous health benefits as a result. While some people pay tons for expensive stem cell IV therapy, LifeWave patches are a cost-effective, non-invasive way to get the same benefits. Plus, the research behind it is supported by numerous clinical studies and patents, and people who've tried it say it's changed their life. We'll put a link to order in the description to learn about this and the other items mentioned in the video. Number three, fasting. Whether you're a devotee of the latest health trends or just have tons of friends who are health nuts, You've probably heard of the benefit of fasting. Regular fasting has been shown to lead to weight loss, improve your heart health and decrease inflammation in your body. As if that weren't good enough, fasting has also been shown to have a positive impact on stem cells in the intestine. 
Before I dive into this, let me give you a quick refresher on stem cell biology. When you're young, your stem cells are working at their peak levels and are able to give you all of the healing benefits along with it. But as you get older, your stem cells start to lose the abilities that make them so special, including their ability to regenerate. Over time, this means that you may have a more difficult time recovering from diseases or fighting off illness. Researchers in MIT were interested in this very thing. In particular, they wanted to know how they could stop the negative effects of ageing on stem cell function. To do this, they studied the effects of fasting on intestinal stem cells in mice. What they found was pretty incredible. After only a 24-hour fast, the mice's intestinal stem cells showed a significant ability to regenerate. In other words, fasting undid the damage caused by ageing. What's more, the effects were the same in both young and old mice. Listen to what osteopath Carolyn Zepf says about the biological explanation behind this. Because when you're fasting, your, your caloric intake is so low that the body is needing to be more efficient. And what does it do? It drops kind of those old damaged cells. It doesn't have time for it. It needs to be as efficient as possible. So it's creating and rebuilding new cells um, of the best quality that it possibly can. So they even found in certain studies that within um, three to four days of fasting, you've created an entire new immune system, so to speak. Like your immunity has gone up significantly, especially if you're um, older in age or you've been dealing with a, a certain disease. It really helps to stimulate that stem cell um, activation within your body. As Carolyn says, fasting stimulates the body to remove damaged cells and allocates more resources towards taking care of the most important cells in your body, like your stem cells. OK, time for a quick pop quiz. What's similar about carrots, red bell peppers and leafy green vegetables? The answer? They're all great sources of vitamin A. And that brings us to number four, vitamin A. Vitamin A is thought to have a hugely positive effect on stem cells. A study published by the German Cancer Research Centre found that a deficiency in vitamin A can actually lead to a loss of blood stem cells. The reason for this is due to retinoic acid. This is simply a nutrient made by your body from vitamin A, and it's a key player in the growth and development of your cells. The researchers in the study published by the German Cancer Research Centre found that retinoic acid may be responsible for the maintenance of blood stem cell levels. That's because blood stem cells normally remain dormant and are only activated in case of an emergency, like invasion from an infection. After they fight off the infection, they then return to their dormant state. If they don't return to dormancy, however, they mature into specialised blood cells, or in other words, lose their stem cell nature. What's cool is that retinoic acid, that nutrient derived from vitamin A, is responsible for returning those blood stem cells to a state of dormancy when they're not needed. If this all sounds totally confusing, let me give you an example. Think of your blood stem cells like an army protecting a country from an invasion, and retinoic acid as their general. When retinoic acid, or the general, is present, it makes sure that you have a standing army ready and waiting for an invasion. But without the general, the army, or the blood stem cells, go off into the world and find other jobs. And when an invasion comes again, there's no one there to protect you. If you still haven't grasped how important vitamin A is, listen to researchers talk about the results from another study, this time published in the journal Cell. For blood stem cells, we fed mice for several months with a vitamin A free diet and analyzed their stem cells. In the absence of vitamin A in the diet, the number of blood stem cells decrease compared to controlled animals eating regular food. As was similarly found in this study, vitamin A is a key factor in the maintenance of blood stem cells. So go out and grab a bunch of carrots, a bag of peppers, or a handful of kale. Your stem cells will thank you. Number five, Mediterranean diet. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard of a Mediterranean diet with its emphasis on plant-based foods and healthy fats, 
it's been shown to reduce your risk of heart disease and stroke, prevent the onset of cognitive diseases like Alzheimer's, aid in weight loss and more. And, no surprise here, it's also been shown to be great for stem cell health. A study published in the International Journal of Clinical Nutrition and Dietics, for instance, found that a Mediterranean diet could lead to the growth of mesenchymal stem cells. I know, I know, mesen... what? That's just a fancy name for stem cells in bone marrow that play a key role in bone health. Let's circle back to Dr William Lee to hear what he has to say about the connection between the Mediterranean diet and stem cell growth. So the Mediterranean diet, has, has, it's been sort of a study by Spain, looked at um, uh, elderly people on the Mediterranean diet. And those who uh, were on a Mediterranean diet compared to not on a Mediterranean diet had five times the number of stem cells in their circulation, in their bloodstream. Amazing. I'm going to repeat that last part because it's huge. Those on a Mediterranean diet had five times the number of stem cells in their bloodstream. Based on the research, it seems like this might be the holy grail of all diets. Number six, exercise. Most of the things I've talked about so far are pretty easy. Sure, anyone can munch down a couple of carrots or drink a hot cup of cocoa. Those things actually sound pretty good, come to think of it. But daily exercise? What a pain. However, once I tell you the benefits, I bet you're going to be itching to grab your running shoes. Because exercise has some pretty crazy benefits when it comes to muscle stem cell activation. Listen to this. A recent study at Stanford looked at the impact of regular exercise on older mice. They gave a group of young mice and a group of old mice access to an exercise wheel, and then after three weeks, compared the results to a control group, which did not exercise. What they found was that regular exercise in older mice led to the rejuvenation of their muscle stem cells, making them more effective. Why is this so important? Well, muscle stem cells are crucial in repairing tissue damage. This is particularly important as you age. I know what you're thinking. This is great for the mice and all, but does it apply to me? Yes. Research has indicated that the same effects can be seen in humans. Listen to what osteopath Dr. Gonzalez says about a small study he conducted on the effects of exercise on stem cells when paired with cold compression. So with what we did is we performed a study on which we were, some of our own volunteers, we exercised on a recumbent treadmill bicycle and we exercised for approximately 20 minutes utilizing um, cold compression. We saw that immediately, immediately after exercise at time zero, there was an increase in the amount of platelets, white blood cells, but most important, and this is what shocked us, there was a statistical increase in the amount of stem cells. So go grab a pair of kicks, lace them up for a run, and enjoy some stem cell rejuvenation along with it.